All right, so in this question, we want to determine the maximum and minimum number of turning points. So before we start the actual questions, I'm going to give you a brief explanation here of how turning points work. So first, let's talk about even functions. It doesn't matter if the coefficient is positive or negative, it will still be pretty much the same. So let's just talk about a positive even function. I'm going to discuss x to the power of 6. x to the power of 6 can look like this with one turning point. That's basically like an x square function. x to the power of 6 can also look like this, which has three turning points. And this is also basically the same as an x to the power of 4 function. And then x to the power of 6 can also look like this. And this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turning points. And this is basically what usual x to the power of 6 functions look like. Remember, it can look like any one of these three. So the minimum number of turning points for an x to the power of 6 function is just one turning point. And the maximum number of turning points is five turning points. If you want to simplify it a bit for even functions, your minimum number of turning points for an even function is always one. Doesn't matter if it's x6, x8, x10. It's an even function, minimum number of turning points is one. And maximum number of turning points will always be one less than the degree. So my degree here is six. My maximum number of turning points is five. So you can use this logic for all kinds of even functions. You can answer them. Let's go to odd functions next. So for odd functions, I'll just do x to the power of 5. So x to the power of 5 can look like that, which is basically an x cubed function. And it has 0 turning points. x to the power of 5 can also look like this, which is also another version of your cubic functions. And this can have two turning points. And x to the power of 5 will most of the time look like this, which basically has 1, 2, 3, 4 turning points. So the minimum number of turning points for any odd function is zero. And the maximum number of turning points, again, will be one less than the degree. And again, this doesn't matter if the coefficient is positive or negative. There'll just be a reflection in the y-axis, but will not affect the number of turning points. So if you want to do these questions quickly, you can just use that logic there. But for me personally, I like to draw it out. And you need to know how to do n behaviors before you can do these questions. So if you don't know how to do n behaviors, make sure to watch my video on that. Learn about n behaviors first. And now we're going to do this. So my degree over here is 4. So I know that my minimum number of turning points is 1, like this. And my maximum number of turning points will be 1 less than the degree, which is like this. So min number of turning points is 1, max is 3. And this is consistent with what we learned about even functions. Here I have a positive x5 odd function. So minimum number of turning points will be 0. And maximum number of turning points will be 4. Minimum for odd functions is always 0 and maximum for odd and even functions is one less than your degree. Here we have a negative cubic function. So again, minimum number of turning points for an odd function, doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, will be zero. Maximum number of turning points will be one less than the degree, which is two. And this last question here, let's actually multiply all our coefficients because this is in factored form. Let's multiply all our x terms to get our coefficient and degree. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 
times 3x is 6x cubed times 4x is 24x4. So this is an even function, degree 4, and the coefficient is positive over here. I know that it's going to have a minimum of one turning point and a maximum of three turning points.